I didn't get paid anything, but it cost me everything. Yeah. 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 Um, and so there was these times where things were quiet and, and things like that. But initially it was about, oh, she's a top of the money or she's a gold digger or she's, you know, she's a slut. And I'm like, award winning slut. Thank you. But, <laughs> um, but this time around, it's not as many. Yeah. Good. But they're, but they're worse. They're, but they're worse. Why do you think that is? And they're not hiding. Uh -huh. No. They're like, I've had people text me. Yeah. from their actual phone number mm -hmm. and I'm just like of course you're a Trump supporter because you're not even good at being bad yeah, yeah. Given permission. Yeah, yeah, they've been rewarded. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. said in some interview or somewhere, I believe that they're more like suicide bombers this time around mm -hmm. where they honestly, truly believe that they are being patriotic and that I am like the devil. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, Stormy, last time you were here, you were with your former lawyer. Stormy Daniels likened Donald Trump supporters to members of a suicide pact characterizing their belief as rooted in a skewed sense of patriotism. Her comparison reflects mounting concerns over the deepening political chasm and the diminishing capacity for empathy between ideological factions. Daniels' remarks have been criticized for exacerbating division, presenting Trump supporters in an overwhelmingly negative light and vilifying their political convictions. Her portrayal suggests a belief among Trump supporters in their actions patriotic nature, hinting at a misinterpretation or distortion of their underlying motives and principles. These comments underscore a prevalent trend in political dialogue, wherein individuals from opposing ends of the spectrum resort to hostile and dehumanizing language, further fueling animosity and discord. 